One thing I can deal with, the ginger gene. The ginger gene? Apparently we look younger. Ginger people look younger my than mum's what they here. are. Look, my mum's 84 and she looks fantastic. Your mum looks she's, amazing. She's I, a well, redhead. I'm, I'm 48, but I think I look great. Yeah. I'm a redhead as well. There's I just cover mummy. it up. Look, there's my there's mum. She, there she is. <laughs> there she is. Yeah, we <laughs> know where she gets everything. it from. She's yes, we 84 do. 84 years old. But yeah, no, redhead. this is the thing. Dutch scientists have found that people who carried the variant of the MC1R gene appear to look younger to other people. Nicole Kidman, Damien Lewis, Julianne Moore, Isla Fisher, Julian Hansen, all you, look lovely. Are redhead under there. I am. Under yeah, that. I'll cover it all up. Uh, what's this? Uh, we've got a photo, what? What, of Jen? Have we got a photo of Ryland? We haven't. With red hair? <laughs> From where? <laughs> Go on, then. Oh, you states. I'm going home. <laughs> is, that you? is that you? All the best. Bye. James, Bye, it's a pleasure See you later. to meet you. A pleasure. <laughs> Take care. I won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> is that really him? Uh, he's here. definitely gone. He's <laughs> gone. Is that really Ryland? <laughs> oh, oh I love it. Let's have a look. Oh, look, bless Stop you. It. Bless <laughs> you. Well, we'll never book any big guests or anything anymore because the day we had the US Secretary of State in yes. this very studio, Hillary Clinton, and we were giving her all due deference, As this you woman should. could have been the next president right. of the United States. Yeah. And I, out of courtesy, Holly, out of courtesy, I thought, include the other staff. And I said, <laughs> I said, uh, Miss Clinton, Mrs. Clinton, <laughs> said over here, I said, is, is a young member of staff here who does the phone in room, and his name's Rylan. Now, she's the US Secretary of State, the most powerful woman in the world at that time, and this is what happened. Oh, no. Hillary, we've been having so many people comment about, obviously, you um, expecting your first uh, grandchild and giving you some advice. Uh, someone says uh, you should refuse to change the nappy from day one or it's going to become your responsibility, Hill, and you don't need it. You don't need it, babe. <laughs> did you just, you just call called, the former first lady, the former US Secretary of State, babe? Did you just call her babe? <laughs> I, no, I called her Hill. I love her. I think she's amazing. I think all that she's done for is great. Back in the cupboard. Lovely back, blazer, back in the lovely cupboard. Jacket. Back in the cupboard. He's adorable. Him. Thanks, Take him Hill. Out of the oh, cupboard. Hill. <laughs> He's adorable. I love the fact they're wearing the same shirt. Um, <laughs> Hillary actually offered me a job after that. She was like, you can just come around with me. I think you're lovely. So, it. yeah, laugh in your own face, Dad. <laughs> Thank you, babe. We love you, Fleur. <laughs> Thank you very much. Stop calling everybody babe. She is a babe. It doesn't mean you can't do that nowadays. You I can't can. No, I can say what I like to Fleur. Yeah. Well, you said, would you me like Fleur to... Fleur very close. Well, Hillary she what she calls me. Look at her. She might mm. look all sweetness and light. No, yeah. No. Yeah, we know yeah. about Fleur. When you called Hillary Clinton babe, I thought that was a... Oh, stop. I'm annoyed with her. That was a stop. step too far. No, I'm annoyed why, with why, Hillary. Why, why, why? She's in London last night. Didn't, you didn't, tweet, you? didn't ring me. What have I done? Says it all. What have I done? I didn't babe? know there was going to be another Chinese. It's about the third one now, isn't think it? I think it is. I think it is. Oh, good luck to him. Yeah. Uh, and back. I'm so... What's it made you? Jacqueline Smith. No, see, I was and... the Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu era. Era. Well, that's okay. We, we know Independent that. women. That's why we cover all things on this programme. Between you and me. I, I mean, we could take over the world. But not with the beast. Right. Welcome back. Still to come, Ryland's here. Good morning to you, Ryland. What's going on then? Morning, babe. Well, a lot's going on. There's one certain diva in this industry that kept a live TV show waiting, and the host had to fill a bit of time. I'll be telling you all about that. And oh, Cheryl, we like a bit of Cheshire on this show. She's got a tattoo on a boot. <laughs> on, on a, a boot? On a boot? <laughs> on a boot? On a boat. Kind of in the cleavage bit. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, we'll talk about that then. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about heads turning through jealousy. Oh. Jealousy as if your head would turn, as if there's anything there that would turn <laughs> anybody's turn. head. Um, anyway, I'm not a man to be turned <laughs> in any way. Uh, <laughs> All right, you're safe. Deirdre. Deirdre, what do you want to hear about today? Yeah, well, it's true. There are all these newcomers coming to Love Island. and But, you know, all of us, we, in a way, live on our own Love Island, don't we? So is there someone who's come into your life that maybe has turned your head and you're thinking, hmm, you know, that, that could be a good prospect? Or are you worried that someone's come into your partner's life and is turning their head and their eye is straying? So any worries you've got in your relationship about someone's head being turned, about jealousy and betrayal, we're here to help. Do you think Ruth's head could be turned? Do you know, my wife is quite dull that way. She's not, you know, she's quite, you know, she's quite fixated on me. I mean, I sort of understand what she's got me. What world do you live in? Well, I'll tell you what the world is. If you've got steak at home, why go out for a hamburger? That's really what I say. Paul Newman quote, yeah. Are we, 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 we're calling this steak, are we? Are we? 
Anyway, she's happy. Put it that way. She's happy. Yeah, give us a ring. Give us a call for free on 08,000 30 40 44 or download our free this morning app and click Get Involved. Make sure you leave your contact number. You need to be in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over. You are definitely of sirloin Do you know what you are? What? Is that, well, you're a bit of double... Fillet, a surname. Sirloin Philip. You're a double bubble. Do you know what you are? Naughty. Oh. Naughty. Oh. Ruth Staddy was a beekeeper. Was he? Yes, explains a lot. Okay, fine. Yes, because, I mean, if, you, if you're stung by them... You see, do you think bees are as cuddly <laughs> as their image would suggest? I don't trust them. I think they're plotting. There's, there's something going on with the bees. I know they're good for us and the pollination, and we'll speak to Archie about that, and that's all fantastic. But one day, mark my words, they'll come for us, and they'll come for us all. We will be crossing live and discussing that very subject with a five-year-old very, very short. Don't trust me. Here, we've got, specially for you, we've got some witchy fingers. Hang on. Oh, Not my. these witchy fingers. Bringing I you in these for, to um, a witchy finger. Halloween last year. Here we go. What do you think of that, Rylan? Is it alive? No. Yep. Here we go. There's a little witchy finger. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I knew this would go wrong. <laughs> do you like that? <laughs> it was an automatic reaction. Would you like one in the other hand as well? There you go. Are you going to eat it? No. No, he's Your grip not. instantly got he's tighter. <laughs> Go on, have a taste. the fun of the fact. Go on. Do you know what it is? Because, yeah. because <laughs> no, that no won't way. be in the newspapers at all tomorrow. Is it? Is it? Will it? It's a hot dog. Yes, it's it is. Well done. There have a look at it, go. though. It's like a finger shape. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's take you off. Mind the air, mind the mind air. Mind the hair. Oh. <laughs> I could oh, go so off at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Da, 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 it's Charlie's da, Angels. Da, da. Is that Charlie's Angels? No. Well, what's that? We've both got it wrong. Oh, yeah, that's it. It is that. It is that. Isn't it? Yeah. I hope so. Do you know what's his name? Charlie, of course, was... Charlie's Angels fan. Yes, he was the guy who... And I'm sorry I started this story. So am I. Blake Carrington. He was Blake Carrington in Dynasty. You never saw him. Cool story, bro. Yeah, and then Bosley. Oh. He was the one like me. Okay. Really. Sam Rubin, got him very shortly. He'll have all the latest on this. Sam, we, we, he, Sam's just ready to enlighten <laughs> us and everything. Can you sing the Charlie's Angels theme tune, can you? I can't quite sing it, but it's John Forsythe who you're thinking of. It, it was, was John oh. Forsythe. Yeah, yeah. I had dinner with John Forsythe. Uh, of course you did. Okay. Uh, apparently, according to some people, there is a, an enormous sea monster of some sort floating around in the River Thames, untamed. It's massive, apparently. Yeah. Someone thinks. This is. Um, Do you totally believe this? Listen, this is an epidemic. Um, this could be the end. If I'm being completely what honest. Do you think it is? I don't care. I don't know. I don't want to know. But <laughs> if it gets us, we're done. We're done for. People are taking the, like, you know, yeah. taking the mick out of me on Twitter and going, oh, you know, it's probably just something. Oh, I saw that with that? my own eyes. I could see on that video with my own eyes that there's something not right there and I need... Uh, this is a public plea. Yeah. More than anything, if, you, if you're near the Thames, if you're walking along Be the careful. South Bank, if you're walking along Embankment, I don't care if you're at the Thames Estuary up near South End. <laughs> you need to keep your eyes out because this... This Massive. is important. This, is, this could end it. I mean, these poor boats. Look, you can see these poor boats going past us, you know, no all idea the time. The Let me talk, Ruth. <laughs> this is important. One minute, you know, you're a tourist to London having a lovely time. Oh, yeah. look, Tower Bridge. Boom, you're inside the belly <laughs> of a monster. People just don't understand. There's police boats all about. There's something they're not telling us. This is and a conspiracy. And if you said people have made fun of you about it today? Yeah, and Who there was one person that? in particular that Who made would fun do of me. That? And it very much frightened me. And you know what? I'll have the last laugh when you're I underneath do. the Thames I in a monster. I apologise, but it was very funny. Have Stay a look. on high ground. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good you notice know, we sit the same way, gripping our knees. It's because you're my style icon, like babe. You're me. Yeah, I just, you know, I Comfy, look at you and it? I think, well, I could just do an angel. <gasps> what? <laughs> don't, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd fall for that. That's a <laughs> shame. <laughs> I thought there was something wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't... Feel my heart. Look what you've done. Thank God Dr Ranch is in here. I'm so sorry.
Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't even think about the monster. I thought we were getting attacked or something. I thought someone had come out of the oh, kitchen cupboard. Oh dear. All right, you know will what? you calm down? You need to sort your life out, Ruth. Because I'll no, tell you'll you. like this. Sit down, get your tea, because you'll like this. We're going to find out about this month's <laughs> hottest trends in the world of beauty. And we've got Good Housekeeping's beauty director Eve Cameron with everything new. I think I've wet right. myself. <laughs> You enjoying that? Mm. Yeah, you just relax. I need it after two weeks. <laughs> the end yeah. of a long two weeks, mm, isn't it? Very long. Long two weeks. Do you know what? I've got to say though, one, I love you, and you know I love you. Thank I've always you. loved you, and you've Ditto. made this very easy. And I couldn't Aww. imagine doing it for anyone else. And all of that legally yeah. that we have Keep to say to make going. sure people know going. that we're a lovely people. Um, but my best bits of the whole two weeks have literally been the mornings. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> I'm very much not a morning person. He's definitely not a morning Even person. Even like on my normal day when I'll do showbiz and that, I'll rock up at about 11, just come on and do it. Yeah. I'm very naughty not like now. that. But I've been getting in every morning. I have You've between been eight very and a half eight, same yeah. as you. And they have been my funniest times. We can't well, repeat some of the... Well, when you see me with no makeup on, yeah, it's quite scary. That is quite <laughs> has, scary. Has, has been... Um, has been lovely. The revelation. Yeah, and some of the conversations we can't repeat. We can't. For legal reasons. And also, the other thing you don't see is that we do have fun in between kind of breaks. Not in and the things. breaks. In the breaks funny, and things. Yeah. And Rylan, as you know, is a great entertainer. He likes to entertain us. And we had Alicia Dixon on oh, she's to talk lovely. about Britain's Got Talent. Um, and Rylan decided to do a, well, kind of like a lip sync, really, for Mystique. Didn't well, no, you? it was about half nine in the morning. Yeah. I come in here and was looking through my notes. Sure and a bit quiet on the floor. And the next thing I heard was a bit of mistake going in my ear. And, and off he went. This is what happened. Very good. Shame. Very Shame. good. Listen to this. What? Here we are. Listen to this. I don't know why I'm doing that. Hello, angels. Yeah. That's, that's enough. That's enough. That's yeah. enough. But I'm glad. Yours was a wee bit more like Tales of the Unexpected, you know, but, but so? that was Charlie's end. I still got it. Uh, Charlie, we've got to go. Or Sam, sorry. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for <laughs> bringing us all that lovely stuff about uh, Charlie's Angels and the, uh, the movie uh, coming back. I mean, I remember from the 70s. You remember Charlie's Angels from the early noughties. Yeah. And, well, Just reliving it. Thank goodness there's no words to that song anyway. Lots more for you on the way, including Deirdre taking your calls and having your head turned. Your head's turned. There's something wrong with you, totally. There is. You'll find out after this. <laughs>